How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, that's one of them videos. Really go get yo shit. Now, last night I was over on Santine's channel and I jumped on the hangout real quick and he presented a video to the royal family on World Star. And I was in utter shock for a moment. But then, as I watched the events proceed on, then that went, that faded because um, I'm not surprised by the enemy's behavior. Now, we all should have common sense and know you don't drink and you don't drive. And what I'm going to present to the royal family basically is what the, how these people play with our tax dollars and how they let they own basically do whatever the fuck they want to do. And they don't even care if they endanger society. So let's go on this journey. I'm going to read this article to the royal family. So, let's get it all set up. Gaze at this picture, my royal family. Now, these events happened down in Southern California in a neighborhood called Los Feliz neighborhood. Went to okay, they want to know why cops let a stumbling driver walk away from an accident. Bystanders were stung on August 22nd as they watch LAPD officers let what the neighbors said appear to be an intoxicated man, let's say an intoxicated white man, walk away after he hit a trio of parked cars in his Dodge Charger in Los Feliz without even giving him a breathalyzer test. Witnesses said the individual, a white man, male, slammed into the three other vehicles while making a left onto Hillhurst Avenue from Los Feliz Boulevard, badly damaging the cars, wrecking his own. Residents, um, Katie Wicker, caught the aftermath in a cell phone video in which the man is seen falling on his face on a grass medium after exiting his um, former ride and then simply um, stumbling away. He could have killed someone. He could have injured people. He could have done a lot of damage. That he did. According to Wicker, if the man was intoxicated, he wasn't a happy drunk. He was yelling at everyone, she told CBS. He was yelling um, aggressive comments at police officers, at the ambulance that was there, at the tow truck driver, and he literally stumbled away. Wicker said she and other witnesses asked the police why they failed to give the man a breathalyzer test and they couldn't give us any answers. The LAPD told CBS LA that cops on the scene make the calls as to whether or not to administer a field sobriety test. And in this case, the officers simply opt not to. A woman whose car was damaged said that she got the driver's information from his insurance company, but CBS couldn't track him down. Meanwhile, the LAPD is reportedly looking into the matter. According to Fox 11 News, they launched a personal investigation. Mm, mm, mm. So, first thing we're going to go to World Star, and then we're going to get into these other two videos. Let's continue to roll with it. And um, 
what I will do, I'm going to play it raw. We'll go through the, you know, the other stuff. And then I'm going to go back to this, th this first one last again. Pay attention to everything. Lean all up in it. all right they simply let him walk well people is asking questions and i got two theories why i think they let him walk but let's um get into this um second video to you in a couple moments here it's pretty wild it shows a guy just stumbling around all over the place after he crashed into several parked vehicles he can barely stand up witnesses say it was very apparent to them that he was a dui driver but officers when they responded they literally let the guy just walk off now the question is why i know oh oh yeah come on dude where are the cops it's Saturday, August 22nd in Los Feliz, oh. and you're watching what witnesses describe oh, oh, as a suspected oh. drunk driver barely able to stand up after he crashed into multiple vehicles. Oh, my gosh. He, he was completely intoxicated. Katie Wicker witnessed all of it and shot this video of the unidentified man struggling, even in front of responding LAPD officers. I mean, everything that you learn about what a drunk person is like... He, he showed every sign of that, from slurring his words to not being able to stand up straight or walk in a straight line. The man still had his keys and was trying to get back in his car. But despite the LAPD response... That's pretty much a, you know, a radio call for a four-vehicle traffic collision. Wicker says she and others were stunned when police simply let the man go. This is insane. This guy is definitely drunk and just hit three cars. And the cops are letting him just walk away. Look at that. Green light, and he's not walking. Look at him. <laughs> You're obviously intoxicated. He could barely even walk. Um, it's infuriating. At this point, onlookers begin questioning and yelling at LAPD for letting the man go. And tonight, LAPD confirms they're investigating what happened and didn't happen here. The department tells Fox 11 they've launched a personnel investigation into the conduct of the responding officers. The law enforcement isn't doing their job. This is why we have the police to take care of people like this. Oh. Yeah. Come on, dude. Where are the cops? 
And earlier this evening, I spoke by phone with one of the women whose parked car was crashed into by this suspected DUI driver. She's very angry about this. She told me she plans on filing a lawsuit against not just that driver, but also LAPD, who she says was completely inept through this whole process. I'll send it back to you. Is LAPD giving any kind of response? Because, I mean, anybody in their right mind is looking at this and thinking this guy shouldn't be walking away. And LAPD officers seem to know that people are even taking video of them right there with their cell phones. They're not giving a formal response in terms of what we're all seeing on that video. Because, look, I, I, you know, speaking bluntly, it obviously looks like that's a potential DUI driver there. What they are telling us is that they've launched this investigation. So clearly they're not going to launch an investigation unless they feel there's maybe something off there. We asked them some follow-up questions, but they didn't get back to us. I wanted to know if those officers are on administrative leave or if they're still out on patrol. Uh, we didn't get those answers. But uh, yeah, look, the video speaks for itself. It looks very concerning. So LAPD is now going to investigate the conduct of those responding officers. We'll stay on top of it. And uh, any new developments will, of course, let our viewers know. Oh, yeah, I'm quite curious how this is going to go all down. So, homeboy seemed like he was on some drink and some other stuff. Now, I personally think the first thing that came to my mind when I seen it, did they know this dude? Is he a cop himself? That's the first thing that came on my frontal lobe. And then today I'm thinking, does it have something to do with coronavirus? Now we definitely know this is white privilege. Oh yeah, you can't talk that away at all. So what is your excuse? No explanations? See, these folks don't realize we pay them. And this is a prime example that I keep saying over and over that my husband always say, when it comes to us, it's the letter of the law. But when it comes to them, it's the spirit. And so the spirit was speaking, demonic spirit to demonic spirit. Go ahead, give you a pass, you know, oh well, who gives a damn? You know, this is our dying system. And trust and believe it is. Because everything that we're looking at is the last of the last of the last. Okay? So that's all I can come up with. So um, I got one more video. Y'all know how I do. I like to overlap things and see if we can pick up any extra nuggets. Expected DUI driver hit their parked cars and the LAPD apparently let him just walk away. A witness recorded video of him and the damage left behind. They described the man as aggressive and yelling at officers. KCAL 9's Candace Crone has that story. Oh, oh. Yeah, come on dude, where are the cops? A neighbor who took this video says the man who tumbled over got out of this wrecked Dodge Charger after slamming into three parked cars in Los Feliz last Saturday afternoon. Witnesses say the driver was making a left turn onto Hillhurst Avenue from Los Feliz Boulevard when the crash happened. The damage left behind was tremendous. Katie Wicker says when the driver got out, she knew something wasn't right and couldn't believe what happened next. He was completely intoxicated the entire time. It was apparent to everyone that was there. He was yelling at everyone. Um, he was yelling aggressive comments at the police officers, at the uh, ambulance that was there, at the tow truck driver, and he literally stumbled away. Police were called to the scene. You can see the man wobble as he tried to open the driver's side door. Wicker, who knows one of the car owners, says she never once saw officers give the driver a field sobriety test. In fact, after they left, she recorded the man walking away. We asked him why. Uh, we asked him why he didn't, why didn't provide him a breathalyzer test, and they couldn't give us any answers. We reached out to the LAPD. They told us the officers on the scene make the call if they suspect someone is intoxicated. In this case, the officers decided not to. <laughs> Neighbors are very upset. He could have killed someone. He could have, he could have injured people. He could have done a lot more damage than he did. A woman whose car was hit told me that she was able to track down the driver's information through her insurance. We tried contacting him, but were not successful. In Los Feliz, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News.
Shoot, homeboy ain't worried about nothing. Shoot, this is, you know, typical white privilege. Why would he give a damn? The cops don't give a damn. You know, it is what it is. He's not a black man. Let's look at that again. This stumbling yeah. drunk. Come on, dude. Where are the cops? I mean, really? I can't wait to hear the explanations y'all give on this one. I was like, the royal family got to analyze this one. This one it took me for a loop. I didn't gave my little short opinion. Oh, yeah. I truly, truly want to hear what the royal family had to say. Whoa, dude. That was a hell of a drink and some dope. Yeah, taxpayer dollars. Yeah, Working hard for your money. With a door like that. Because, yeah. Thank you. So this is pretty much uh, our information. And it's pretty much uh, you know, a radio call for a four vehicle traffic collision involving three parked vehicles. No injuries to any of you guys. Report uh, is going to be available via your insurance company within one week. If they don't have it yet, just uh, keep them calling them, okay? Butt cracking all. Wow. This is insane. This guy is definitely drunk and just hit three cars. And the cops are letting him just walk away. Look at that. Green light and he's not walking. Look at him. <laughs> You're all obviously intoxicated. Wow, them people got every right to be pissed. You can step outside and your ride is all towed back. Mm -mm -mm. When I seen that last night, I said, ooh, I got to share that with the royal family. That's a hot ass mess. I mean, dude, wide legged, stumbling, and everything. The other thing that came to mind was, you know, they told his shit. So I guess they figured, well, he ain't going to be able to drive it. But this was reckless on the police part. And it's a bad, it's a bad look all the way around. And I will be following through on this because they're going to they gonna pay for this one. They're going to get in trouble for this one. This didn't look good at all. So, you know, they got to make their business decision, you know, and this embarrasses the force that, Somebody that already tow up people's property could have killed them people and them himself, and then you just let him walk. He's subject to have another car. He got his keys. It is what it is, my royal family. So render your voice with your beautiful divine words, and it's always my royal family. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, Ashe. Ooh, a hot mess.